Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. And the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh by Shemel Shai got set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh by Shemel Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp coming back with another Lord's willing Edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashmael Shai to the best of my ability. In this lesson, Lord Willing is going to be entitled, The Lord Will Come Through in the Clutch. All right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will come through in the clutch. And when you think about, you know, all the greats, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and even in football, you know, Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning, Patrick Mahomes. You think about, you know, the all-time greats. They all had that that one uh, clutch. They had a clutch gene. You know, Michael Jordan known for his iconic buzzer beaters. Kobe Bryant, Tom Brady, known for his comebacks, you know, same with Patrick Mahomes. And that's what makes them so great. And when you read the scriptures and you read about all the times Yahweh Bashim al Shah came through and delivered the Lord's elect, right? And that's what really inspired me to do this lesson, you know, just meditating on the times that we about to come into, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, but not in the spirit of fear, but of, but of, um, you know, being confident in our, in our power, Yahabash Mount Shai, you know, because us that's been serving the Lord in truth and sincerity, you know, we've been doing what we've commanded. All right. We go out to the highways and byways. We make these lessons during the week. We keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right. We, we doing everything that the Lord uh, commanded out of, us, out of us. You know, so we have to. We have to trust in the Lord. All right. We got to have faith in the Lord. Just like how these. Uh, these fans out here, you know, you got fans who who argue and you know vouch for you know, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. You know, they praise these men because they came through in the clutch. But these men don't give praises to Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, you know, for coming in, into the clutch as well. You know. So I pray that this lesson, you know, is exhorting. So this is uh, the book of Sirach 2. Let's start at 6. Believe in him and he will help thee. Hey, that's all we got to do is believe in Yahweh Bahashim al Shai. Oh, and the Lord will help thee. Just as Daniel, when he got put into the lion's den, he believed in the Lord. All right? It says, order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Right, and that's what we're doing now. Because we're the ones who truly fear 
the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, and fear is the beginning of wisdom. And only the elect are going to have their, their light trimmed. You know, these other people during a time of trouble, you know, they're going to be looking for for the men of the Lord. All right, and it says, and go not aside lest you fall. Ye that fear fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. All right, and what's that reward? Ultimately, that's salvation, which is going to be was going to be rewarded to the Lord's elect, beginning with the prophets, the 144,000, verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. All right, so we got to hope for good. All right, another word for hope is faith. All right, so our faith is supposed to be in the good of the Lord. All right, because just as the Lord brought all these curses upon us, all right, our people don't believe that the Lord is going to bless us. Okay. And the scripture says, some of you shall not taste of death. All right, man going to receive spiritual powers. All right, the elect going to get beamed up into the chariots. A body's going to be changed. But the root to all this is belief. All right, faith. And it says, and for everlasting joy and mercy. All right, we're going to have everlasting joy and mercy. Hey, we're going to be put into bodies that's not subject to go off. All right. They're going to be programmed to keep the law, statutes and commandments. All right. And through that, we're going to be immortal because that's how we fell as a nation through sin. So the Lord is about to give us incorruptible bodies. All right. And uh, let's keep going. Verse 10. And it reads, look at the generations of old and see the ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. All right. And um, you know, earlier I was reading um, the book of Exodus, the second chapter, you know, and basically, you know, uh, Moses. He was into he. Uh, Moses mother. All right. Uh, made Moses a basket. And put him in a river. And he, he was in Egypt. All right. And so Moses didn't grow up, didn't grow up with his, with his father or his mother, you know, but the Lord was guiding Moses. The Lord was protecting Moses, even though he was in the hand of his enemies. So during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, we can be in the hands of, of the, uh, of the councils. All right, because men that's going to get persecuted could be brought up, you know, in, in a judgment seat of the of, of the um, of these officials, you know, and some of us going to be martyrs. But even through death, the Lord is going to be there for us. He's going to comfort us in that time of affliction. All right, it says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon them? All right, and we got to think about our forefathers. Read these stories of our forefathers. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, during the time of the flood, the, the whole earth got destroyed. But the Lord, he kept Noah. He kept his family. All right, this is First Kings seventeen and two, and the word of Yahweh came unto him, saying, "Get thee hence and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there." So this is the, this is the type of power that we serve. All right, the Lord at the end of the day, He's He's the one that's going to guide our steps. All right. Even if we persecute it, if we even if we got to be pilgrims upon the earth. Hey, the Lord says in Isaiah 65 and 13 that my servant shall eat. My servant shall rejoice. But that's why we got to have faith in the Lord. Let's read this again. It shall be 
that thou shalt drink of the brook and have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord Yahweh. All right, and real quick, man, the Lord says in the book of Job uh, that we shall be in league with, with the beasts of the earth. So that's not far-fetched. You know, in the time of tribulation, the Lord sends a, a raven or, you know, any type of animal to come feed you. You know, look at Abraham when he's about to uh, offer up his son. It said all of a sudden, you know, uh, a ram got caught up in the bush and, and that became a sacrifice. So that type of things can happen. But all of a sudden, you can be you can be out in, in the woods or somewhere and, you know, the Lord has it where a deer runs up to you, you know, and that's and that's what you're eating on, you know. It says verse. Verse five. So he went and did according unto the word of, of the Lord, Yahweh, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan, and the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning. All right, so uh, Elijah, he was uh, being bought bread and meat. It says, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. So he, the Lord fed him twice a day. So that's why we got to look at the generations of old and see that did did the Lord ever forsook those who called upon us, man. And we're coming into the worst time of of uh, trouble known to man. And the Lord is about to make a great deliverance, just like just like he did in, its, in ancient Egypt. Hey, this is going to surpass the, the deliverance of ancient Egypt. All right. Verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Long suffering and very pitiful, and forgive his sins and save it in the time of affliction. All right, so the Lord is going to save his elect in the time of affliction. The Lord is going to come through in the clutch for his elect. And uh, let's go to Daniel's to close out with Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. All right, and this is how bad it's going to be where the Lord is going to send Michael the archangel to defend the Lord's elect. And there shall be a time of trouble, right, which we're about to enter into, the time of Jacob's trouble. But going back to the title of this lesson, Yahweh Bashem al is going to come through in the clutch, just as Michael Jordan came up in the clutch, and Kobe Bryant, and Tom Brady, and, and Patrick Mahomes, and all these great athletes. Hey, they don't got shit on, on Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. It says, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. All right, you think about all the worst times in, in history. You know, the 70 AD, all right, when we was catching hell by the by the Romans. And really that started in, in 66 AD. And then it ended around 72 AD. So we was catching hell for going on seven, six, six or seven years straight. You know? Yeah, and this time is going to be worse than that. It's going to be worse than slavery. It's going to be worse than how we was in captivity under the ancient Egyptians. All right. It says, even to that same time and that same and, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that should be found written in the book and the Lord's elect. They've been predestinated from the foundation of the earth. OK, so those same men who helped you, how shall create the planet Earth? Guess what? They back here on the planet Earth and the Lord is going to deliver. He's going to deliver those men. All right? He's going to deliver the the righteous foremothers that we read about in the scriptures. All right. Had a mother in the, in the book of Maccabees, you know, she uh, kept her integrity. You know, all her her sons died and then she took her death um, righteously. So those same men and and uh, women and children are back here on the earth, man. And they're going to believe in these in these last days. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I pray that this lesson was exhorting to at least one of Yahweh Bashem al sheep. And with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the Lord's elect.
Lord willing, with that, I'm going to say Shalom and a ball, ball.